As the mainstream media in the United States is focusing its coverage on the meeting between Barack Obama and an NBA team, there was another very important meeting that just took place between Russian President Vladimir Putin and globalist henchman war criminal string puller Henry A. Kissinger. According to many sources, Kissinger and Putin have kept in close touch throughout the years. They are each other's guests when they visit Russia and the United States, and they are considered old friends. The only information we are getting from this off-the-record secret meeting between Putin and Kissinger is that it was just, quote, a friendly dialogue between the two who are bound by a long-standing relationship. But if you know who Henry Kissinger is, you know that he is the main string puller between U.S. foreign policy. We know that because even in our own National Security Advisor's own words, he takes his daily orders from Dr. Kissinger. We know through the recent emails that have been revealed that he has very close ties with Hillary Clinton and he applauds her for her hawkish war policy. He tells Hillary Clinton what to do. Hillary Clinton says she is heavily influenced by Henry Kissinger and she also is influenced by globalist organizations like the Council on Foreign Relations. We know Kissinger has his hands everywhere, including advising the Pope. We know that whenever a politician comes into prominence, like Sarah Palin when she was the VP under John McCain, she had to have a meeting with Henry Kissinger. But most importantly, Henry Kissinger is a war criminal. He has previously sabotaged U.S. government diplomacy relations between Vietnam and the United States, halting peace talks, counting and sabotaging the lives of countless numbers of Vietnamese and American soldiers before. He has conducted an illegal war in Cambodia. He is complicit in Pakistan's genocide in Bangladesh. And he has committed crimes all over the world, including Chile, Iraq, is Timor, Cyprus, putting in dictators, causing the suffering, the torture, the murder of hundreds of thousands of people for pure geopolitical game. We have confronted him many times on his known depopulation agenda. We have confronted him on being wanted for war crimes in countries all over the world. We have confronted him on making orders and giving orders to Barack Obama. We have asked him what he meant when he said military men are dumb, stupid animals to be used as pawns for foreign policy. And you really have to see the videos of me talking to Henry Kissinger to understand who he is. He gravels, he runs away, and the only response he gives is that I'm a sick person for even asking him about the information we know about him from declassified documents. These videos will be in the description below. But why is he meeting with Vladimir Putin right now? Why? is Henry Kissinger having this private off-the-record meeting that we have no information about. Well, according to him, he's calling for greater cooperation between the White House and the Kremlin. He's calling for a new global equilibrium. But if you look at just the recent developments, now we have been covering developments between Russia and the United States throughout the years, and tensions have been escalating. But this is just some of the latest news. The latest news is that Russian diplomat is accusing the United States for pushing for a full hot war between the two power nations. Poland is expecting to implement missile defense systems in 2006 with the United States against Russia. NATO is increasing its military presence in Eastern Europe surrounding Russia. Russia is reinforcing its troops in the Arctic, in the Baltic, in the Mediterranean Sea. It's setting up more missile defense systems inside of Syria. We know Turkey is an orange warning. The next warning after orange is red, which means full-out war with Russia, and Turkey is preparing to shoot down any Russian aircraft. Russia is allying closely with Iran and China, making a stronger alliance between the two. Our U.S. Director of National Intelligence just came out and said Russia is a greater threat to the United States than ISIS itself. We know the tensions between these two global powers are getting hot. We know that the possibility of war between these two countries are very possible, especially with the latest developments in Ukraine and inside of Syria. But we know one thing, other than the unknown talks that happened between these two, we know that Henry Kissinger is not a man for peace. He is a man that uses the ends to justify the means. He has sacrificed millions of lives before in order to gain geopolitical control, in order to create a one world government, in order to enact more power and control over the people. That is his end game and peace 
is something this man knows nothing about. So when you see in the mainstream media him talking about more of an equilibrium, when you see him in the mainstream media talking about more of a better relationship, you could know, you could safely assume that that is an outright lie. Now the relationship between Putin and Kissinger is extremely important when we see all these developments break geopolitically and globally and they should be known about. But no journalist will ever ask Henry Kissinger what he is really doing, well except for us. Thank you again so much for watching. A very important meeting just took place that you should know about. Share this information with your friends. I want to thank everyone who's supporting us on Patreon. And don't forget, if you want to support real independent media, check out our store on wearechange.org forward slash store. Thank you again so much for watching. We're going to have more important news breaking for you here on youtube.com forward slash wearechange.